So it's, it's, it's can't create anything. The next point is evolution, as you said. So let's check with this what evolution says. There is a different evolution, Lamarckian evolution, there is Darwinian evolution, there is many types of evolution theory, right? And <coughs> the most established evolutionary theory is uh, Darwinian evolution. So let me tell you what Darwinian evolution said. How do you understand Darwinian evolution? It's tough to answer your questions because we are not native, native speakers. Okay, good. But, uh, I would understand it like um, all things evolved from a common ancestor or something like that. Or not a common ancestor. But, let, let me think about it. Yeah. That's 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 good. But, are you Christians? Are you Christians? Uh, no, they're atheists. Atheist. Yeah. So the question is like, if everything comes from nothing, so nothing doesn't make sense. First of all, right? We establish it. That it's not possible. It's come from nothing. The secondly, when it says the evolution, what evolution says? Darwinian evolution said this. The Darwinian evolution speaks about the natural selection. Are you with me? Natural selection. So natural selection says the the you know animal or the species who can adapt with the with the with the environment yeah. will last will longer, last longer. Will than the others. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. So it's nothing you can prove there is no God with this evolutionary theory. You understand this? Because when you were saying there's the a species will be staying longer if this species adapt yeah, yeah, yeah. much more than any other species meaning these species exist first point right so my question is this where did these species come from well, I don't know. I can do you understand, do you understand? Do you understand? so yeah so let's wondering? let's go for this so first of all there is triple probability right yeah. First, we can say it's come from nothing, right? First, first point. Yeah. The yeah. second point, it can be like someone can argue it created itself, right? Yeah. Sure. The third point, third probability, it created by something else. Something higher than us. Do you understand? Yeah. So, is there any other option? Can you find, or just three? Let's think, think about it. I'm sure it is, but we don't know. Yeah, yes. but there there is no other option. Whether it comes from nothing, yeah, or it comes it created by itself, or there has something or some being which created it, right? There's three options. Let's check with one by one. First of all, it cannot come from nothing. Because we, as we discuss, the nothing itself is absence of everything. So when it absence of everything, it cannot create anything right so it's denied it's cancelled let's talk about does it create itself the answer will be no because uh, anyone cannot create itself for example can you create yourself no can the mother give birth of her own self no it's not possible so the only option is left is is been created you understand so is being created for creating this there has to be a designer you understand as we spoke your nose is here your eyes is here your mouth is here so you can see the food you can smell the food you can take the food so if your if your eyes in the back side so you need to take the food on the back side if your nose in the leg leg so you, can, you need to take the food on the leg then you need to eat so it's quite complex than what we have right now so to see your body and to see any other device, if we see the iPhone or this camera, you can see there has a designer. You can, you can tell there is a creator and the designer. So, as we agreed, there's that nothing is not possible and self creation is not possible. So there is only thing left. Maybe it is. You don't really know this. You don't really know all the laws of physics and all the secrets of the universe. So, okay, that's fine. Really so we are we are we are talking about the origin of our 
of our life. Yeah. Then we'll go to the uh, origin of the universe. We will go to this, yeah? Let's, let's just discuss about this, right? Even, let's go to the... It couldn't create itself, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, Do you understand? I understand what you're trying to say. Good. It's hard to answer this question. <laughs> yeah, so it can't create itself. Yeah. It's like same as the universe, right? We, we know the universe, according to the science, it started from the Big Bang, right? Yeah. Big Bang theory. But uh, this theory has been disproven. Let, very recent. Yeah, let's talk about Big Bang, right? So let's take it seriously and let's talk about this. So what, what Big Bang says, Big Bang says the universe at a certain point has an expansion, right? And is, is that expanded? Yeah, good. So the point will be, where did this expansion come from? Do you know where it's expanded? Yeah, come from, where, where it comes from? You understand? So the answer will be, either it's come from nothing and it's not possible as you discuss. Right? Nothing, anything comes from nothing, it doesn't make sense. Do you understand? The next point is, this Big Bang happened by itself. It's not, it's not valid as well, because it can't happen by itself. As you discussed, the mother can't give the birth of her own self. You just lose. <laughs> you understand? And the third option is, something or some being has created it. Should create it, yes. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So, what we say, this being is designer, ultimate designer and the most intellectual. As I gave the example, your eyes, your nose and your mouth to take the food. So if there is no designer and if he is not the intellectual being, so maybe your eyes will be in, in the backside, right? So you can check your body and you can say, okay, there, there has to be, must, must be a designer. So what we say, this designer and this creator and this the ultimate reason of everything, and this is the first point, and this is the ultimate reason of everything, is the God. Does it make sense to you? Well, if you're explaining it like that, I would say like... Does it make I sense mean, to you? But it's hard to say if God's really real, you know? God's what? If God's really real. If, if what if it's a belief, you know? No, you can't but prove it. you can't prove anything. I do understand, but why I'm saying you can't prove you can't the existence of the universe, you can't prove your theory, you can't prove but my theory. Why you are saying you I can't I, I if we can prove whatever we need to do. For example, if you you can't prove there's the who is the for example in your genealogy who is the fourteenth grandfather. You don't see him. Yeah. You never touch him. You never meet him. Right? Or your father never meet him. Fourteenth grandfather but does it mean he doesn't exist does it mean that it doesn't mean so you can't touch you can't feel you can't examine doesn't mean that it doesn't exist Do you understand my point so when we are saying okay you can't prove the god as i said there is a probability you can check that with the probability that god exists so if you if you want proof then you can't prove that where is your grand for, for 14th grandfather Do you understand so you can't touch him, you never meet him, you never saw him, you never feel him, doesn't mean he doesn't exist. You understand? He still, he existed, right? So he existed, what's the proof? Because you exist. <laughs> Do you understand this? Do you understand this? So this universe has been existing and is existing because someone created it. And as we discussed, nothing can create the universe. Universe can't create itself. So there has to be a creator. And as we discussed, everything we see has a creator. Your phone has a creator. Your chat has a creator. You will deny if I say your sunglass come from nothing. You will deny if I say your sunglass create itself. So why, how can you deny your, this complex body comes from nothing? Does it make sense? Do you understand? So what we say, we subscribe to the only true God. One true God who created even me, who created everything. Yeah? So this creator, in your opinion, yeah. has a name. What's, what? Has a name, this creator. We say Allah. Allah. We say Allah, yeah. We say Allah. So Allah has different name, which is Asma'ul Husna, yeah? Which is nice name. For example, is Al Ghafur, it's some attributes, right? So Al Ghafur meaning he is 
هي سو مارس الرحمن هي سو مارسيفول يا الغفور الغفار هي هي كان فورجيف إيفريون هاي and his الرحمن القدير his most powerful his الحي القيوم his always existence يا we do believe that and we do we believe we have to subscribe to the only one creator so let me tell you why this then you can ask this why two creator cannot exist right you can ask why i should say there is one creator why not two or three creator so for this let me ask you is it possible that two independent being exist at the same time is it possible how Two yeah. yeah me, me and you are two independent beings. No, we are not independent because you are depending to the father to come this universe. I depend to my father to come this universe. If if oh, my you do you understand? Like that, ultimate okay. independency. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So can two ultimate independent beings exist at the same time? I don't know. If one can exist, why can two exist? Because because let me tell you why. Because if I say one say for example A is ultimate independent so what's what ultimate uh, ultimate independent means meaning he doesn't depend on anything and this independent being has the power to do anything right so if you say two independent being at the same time meaning if you say he is independent so why about does he have power over other independent being so if he does the power over other other being for example b meaning b is not independent do you understand because A has power over B, yeah. so two independent beings cannot exist at the same time. So if there is two, there will be the chaos, because if A wants to take over the B, then B will make the revolution. B will take the revenge. Do you understand? Yeah. So like the God says in the Quran, there's if there is two God, there is one God only. There's Qul Huwa Allah Wahad, and if there is two God, what God says, there will be the chaos. For example, you can see the sunshine here. So. If there is two God or two independent being, what will happen? One can say, okay, I want to give the sun sunshine, and another can say, I want to give the rain. So there will be the chaos. So first of all, there are two independent being cannot exist, and if there is two being as God, will be the chaos. So it's not possible to two, two independent being. Do you understand this? So the reason we said la ilaha illallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, he understands the point. So, why I'm saying, does it make sense to you? What? There's there is one 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 God, one creator. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Alhamdulillah. So next point, there's that we don't believe only the God, we believe the God's prophet as well. Yeah, what's the prophet? So. We understand there is a God, there is a Creator. So what should you do with the Creator? What's our duty with the Creator, right? Yeah. So for this, God sent the messenger and the books, like the Quran, right? Many times. For example, right now, the Prime Minister is Rishi Sunak in this country. So and previously, the Prime Minister was Boris Johnson. So if I say I respect the Rishi Sunak, doesn't mean that. I'm deserving the Rishi, uh, sorry Boris Johnson because yeah he was prime minister but not now. Do you understand? So God sent the messenger in different different time, yeah, with the books, yeah. What what was about the books? Book was about how to lead your life, how to it's the guidance of human being. So then you can ask me, then what's the reason for sending the messenger? For example, if I give you the books, right? If I give you a book, for example, medical book. And I'm telling you, you need to get the 80 out of 100 for this book in the exam. But there is no teacher. Will it be unjust or just to you? Justice to you? It will be unjust because I don't give you give you the teacher, and there is no teacher. So what will be the justice to you? This book contains all information here, and I give the books to you, and I give a teacher, right? So when you have the book and when you have a teacher, meaning you have the complete package, and then I expect, okay, you should get a, get a good grade. Does it make sense to you? So God sent the books with the teacher. Who is the teacher? The messenger was the teacher. The prophet was the teacher. 
they, they teach the humanity how to lead your life. You understand? So we understand why God exists and we understand why we have the books and the messenger. Does it make sense to you? Okay, so on the chain of the messenger, we believe the messenger, the chain of messenger start with the Prophet, uh, sorry, Prophet Adam, the first person of the universe, first person of the human being, Prophet Adam, and the chain of the messenger ends with Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Yeah? So then the question will be, how do you understand all of the prophets came from the same God? That's the question, right? So, for example, if you wear a t-shirt which write Adidas, say for example, and you come to the speaker's corner today and you are selling the Adidas as product, yeah? For example, t-shirt, pant, all of the things. And two days later, someone like you came in the came in speaker's corner and selling like same t-shirt, same with same logo Adidas. So how can I conclude? So we can assume and we can sure we can be sure that this guy from same company because they're selling same product they're giving same speech they're showing everything same so how can we understand this that these prophets and the messenger came from the same god very easy yeah look at the message of their self what moses said worship to only true god what abraham said worship to one true god what David's, uh, sorry, what Luth said, worship to only true God. What Ishmael said, worship to one true God. What Jesus said, pray to the only, the tr only the Father, the true God. What Prophet Muhammad says, pray to the only true God. So does it make sense that they came from the same God? Yeah? So that's what we believe. If you believe, does it make sense to you? So we believe the God who created everything, who created you and me, and we believe this God sent the messenger, with the books as the guidance and we, we, we believe if you follow the guidance of the God because if you create, make a phone who will be the best person to speak about the phone you right because you created this so God is the creator of yourself so if God the give give a, any prescription so it will be the best pre prescription you have ever seen right so God sent the prescription with the doctor with the teacher right so God gives you everything and God's give you the sound reasoning and intellectuality. So you can check it whether it is correct or not, right? So you can then ask yourself, and God says many times that this is the sign. The wise can look into it and think about it, yeah? So as a sincere person, does it make sense to you that there is one God and this God sent the messenger and the books? Yeah, that, that's like this. There is no complication like the Christianity or any other things. Do you believe in one God? Yeah, so what's the alternative? It, do, it does make sense to you, you said, but why you are not believing? Why you are not believing? As you said, there's, there's the, that does, it does make sense, so why you are not believing? So, for example, I'm worshipping to the God, but I'm not leaving my life to worship only the God. I do understand, but why I'm saying, if you, if you see the truth, so what's the next step? You should accept the truth. For example, if I say 5 plus 5 equal to 8, and this brother is saying 5 plus 5 equal to 10, so which one will, will you accept? Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, all, all right then. Why I'm saying... I see I see all right then. Okay, thank you so you have the Quran? Yes. Yeah, we have. All right then. So take the Quran. If you don't have, take the Quran. And if you have, read the Quran and ask for the guidance to the only one creator who created you, inshallah. So may Allah guide you. May Allah guide all of us. Thank you. Now, now you've been given a, a book and you are in an exam and you've been given a book. Now the so, excuse finished. So you know the truth? Yeah. It's up to you whether you believe or not. Yeah. not yeah? Thank yeah, thank you. Take care of yourself. Alhamdulillah. Salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. We have a discussion with the son and the father about the existence of the universe and they were agnostic. Sorry, they were atheist. So Alhamdulillah, they agreed. They may, it makes sense that there is only one creator. And we explain the Tawheed and Risala as well. And we are praying to the Allah that Allah makes it easy for, for them. And they understand it. And inshallah we expect and we believe that Allah will give, you, give them the guidance and they will accept the Islam. As we said, Islam is very 
you know, easy to understand. The la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God except Allah and Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. That's it. We don't have any complication like the Christian or Jewish or any other sect. So we just believe in one God and their God's messenger and his books. That's it. Jazakallah khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum.